This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by NitrosMeat.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In this video, we will create this cool glass effect or should I call it a frosted glass effect inside of After Effects that too without using any plugins. It's a super simple effect, looks pretty dope and awesome and you can use it in number of different ways for your amazing projects you can even create templates using this and with that said let's jump straight into after effects and get started all right guys so here we are in after effects let's start by creating a new composition called this render as our main Venicom. Gonna go with 1920 by 1080 that is full HD 30 FPS in 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Alright so the first things first I'm gonna hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid called this BG for background. Gonna give it a nice black color. You can of course use any color that you want. Then I'm gonna create a new composition again. It's going to be our texture for the glass so i'm going to call this texture and hit ok now here i have some fingerprint textures that i will be using for this tutorial you can of course use different kind of textures like scratches and stuff like that so i'm going to drag and drop this one let's scale this down all right and then you can adjust the position that you want and that's all we have to do let's go back into our render com and i'm going to drag and drop in this texture we don't need to see it we can hide this and then i'm going to go right here and create a rounded rectangle tool we don't need any stroke we just need the fill and then i can create any shape that i want so let's say if i want something like this and let's align this into the center i'll go into the rectangle one rectangle path one and let's add some roundness just like that so this is going to be our glass but one thing that you have to keep in mind that this is a shape layer and we need to convert the shape layer into an adjustment layer so to do that let's hit f4 on the keyboard and click the small button or icon that you see so it's going to convert the shape layer into an adjustment layer called this glass and let's add the effect that is going to create the glass look so the first thing that we have to do is go into effects and preset and search for fast box blur there we go let's add this but now if i increase this so let's say if i said this is 25 nothing happens because we don't have a background so for the background i'm going to use this video that i have you can of course use any image or anything that basically you want so let's use this video as our reference so we have added this nice fast blur and we need to also increase the iteration to around 10 and that is going to make the complete blur look diffuse and yeah that is the look i'm going for maybe it's a bit too much so let's bring that down and you can always play around with this you know depending on what background that you're going to use so this looks good and then go into effects and presets again and search for compound blur double click and this blur is going to help us with that texture so now in the blur layer i'm going to set this to texture and let's increase this so let's go somewhere on 75 and we you can see we have started to get this really nice little bit of smudge texture but something is not right here so we need to add some more contrast into the texture so let's go and add some brightness and contrast let's go right here let's increase the brightness really high and also increase the contrast like that and now if i go back you can see now we have started to get this really nice look but i'm gonna go one step further so let's go and add some curves add that and let's brighten this up actually so something like this And now we have this really nice texture. So if I just go back, you can see it more properly. So this texture is looking very nice and you can always adjust the compound blur and adjust the texture the way you want. So if you want more of the scratches and smudges, you can increase this really high and bring down the blur radius. So it's going to look like an ice, kind of an ice 
you know so if i just set this to 10 and maybe bring that down so it looks more like a frosted look and the best part is that i can anytime jump into the texture i can use a different texture if i want to so if i go back and here i have a couple of textures so let's use maybe this one let's drag and drop this here and i'm going to scale that down it's pretty big all right let's copy these effects so hit control select them hit control c and hit control v to paste them and if i go back we have this really interesting look so probably i'll bring i'll make them a bit more smaller like that let's delete this and now you can see we have this really nice texture i can again play around with the compound blur so i'm going to keep it very something like subtle like 50 and i can set this to around 15 that looks much better or maybe 20 yeah so now you can see it looks more like a glass but we have to add some more details so let's select the glass layer that is the shape layer hit control d to duplicate it call this strokes and this is going to be our edges so let's add a stroke of around 1.5 and make sure the color is set to black we don't need the fill so i can set the fill to none all right i can hit Control shift h so i can only see the stroke basically so let's actually turn this on and it's very difficult to see right now but there we have our uh, stroke all right and yeah one thing that i forgot is turn off the adjustment layer so we can see that and also delete this effects from here and now you can see the stroke let's set this to two so we can see it right now and then then select this layer right click and go into layer styles and let's add a gradient overlay here i'm going to jump into gradient overlay let's make some room right here and then change the blend mode of this to something like an overlay and then set the style from linear to reflected all right and then i'm gonna change uh, the gradient so edit gradient select the black color click right here and bring down the opacity to zero and click ok and now let's turn on everything so we can see what's happening here all right and then i'm going to change the blending mode of this complete layer to add and boom now you can see it's a very subtle touch but at the edges we have this very nice reflection and you know changes with the kind of video that you'll have in the background which looks which makes the complete uh, look pretty awesome and basically sells out the effect now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me take a minute and talk about today's sponsor nitrosme.com they have a special flat 50 percent off christmas sale up on their website they have some really amazing packs like ar tools montage library video library motion tiles and my favorite the 4000 plus all-in-one transition library for premiere pro all the animations are auto resizable plus comes with their sound effects included and the best part is that they all come with simple straightforward commercial license meaning you purchase the pack once and use it for unlimited projects forever for more information check out the link in the description below all right so probably i can also duplicate this so let's um duplicate the stroke hit can oh first of all let's uh, let's also change the angle of the stroke so here we have the angle i can change this i'm going to put it around the corners like that and then duplicate the stroke hit control d hit u two times to reveal the properties and then change the um, angle again so i'm going to put this at this corners like so and now we have this really cool looking it it looks much more like a glass now and yeah that is looking pretty good now let's go ahead and add some text on this now adding text is a bit different here because if i select the text tool and let's type in something so let's type in glass all right and for the font i'm i'm using integral you can of course use any font that you like let's increase the size here all right so if i place my font just like that on the top it won't look that realistic so it, it should look like it's placed on a glass surface so 
to do that i'm gonna select the font layer go into effects and preset and search for drop shadow double click to apply that and let's bring down the opacity to somewhere around 15 or something let's increase the distance to 30 and the softness to 70 so we have a nice kind of a light shadow onto the glass but now let's create a reflection so hit ctrl d again this is going to be a lighter shadow gonna place make gonna make the opacity all the way up to 100 and make this white and we can change the angle if we want but the main thing is we need to increase the softness to around 180 and now you can see it looks much more like it's on the top of the glass and the best part again is you can change the text you can make you can you basically use any font so i can maybe use heading or something and everything is going to get adjusted so you know it looks pretty damn cool and you can change the complete look by changing the background basically it's that simple so let's say if i use another video and uh, let's scale this up you can see the texture looks pretty damn cool it looks much better on the lighter videos which has much more lighter colors basically and again you can jump into the glass or you can adjust it um according to your personal preference so i can just bring that somewhere on there bring down the blur and make it look much more frosted you know play around with this effect you can use this as a lower third as well so i can change the uh, size of a rectangle you can use a circle you can use a number of different things with this you can come you it you can create you can use this for ui designing or web designing i don't know use it in a number of different ways post it online and tag me if you want to so that is all for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you enjoyed this technique make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions i have all the links in the description below and if you are into logo animation motion graphics typography and stuff then be sure to check out my complete playlist again all the links are in the description below with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative Peace out.